All right. It is one of the more anticipated bouts of the evening. It'll be in the men's group B middleweight division. The Netherlands' Nikki Holtzkin against undefeated American Kai Hollenbeck. It is coming up next. Interesting to see again both these fighters, I said, undefeated in MPL action. One of them will probably go home with a loss tonight. Kai Hollenbeck undefeated in his career, so we'll see if Nikki Holtzkin will be the first person to give him a loss or if Kai will continue that streak. Going to be a great fight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Muay Thai Premier League's round three, Blood and Steel. And tonight, Warrior Cast Productions presents to you three rounds of middleweight Muay Thai action from Group B. So the Y crew, Ram Moy, as they once again pay tribute to the the trainers, their camp. And they're both getting ready. Kai Hollenbeck putting the monk on, on ceremonial headpiece. And I think both these guys are just getting ready to go. No uh, Y crew Ramoy for these two. They're ready to fight. You know what I mean? I, I think you you know the first half of the of the show tonight, some good fights, some good technique, a um, couple of really good matches, but from the second half on, it's been war. Nobody's uh looking to play. And I think both of these guys, Nicky Holtzkin, as we saw when he fought in L.A., has got bad intentions. And he's always trying to take his opponent's heads off. So it's going to be great. All right, let's go to the tail of the tape for this uh, Group B a middleweight matchup. Nicky Holtzkin, three years older than his American opponent. He's taller, and he weighed just a tad more at the official weigh-in. So he'll look to take advantage of all of those because this is a very, very... A competitive matchup on paper. I definitely agree. I mean, Nikki Holtzkin is a perfect technician when it comes to counterfighting, when it comes to hitting the target. Kai Hollenbeck is a, an amazing All-American athlete. I mean, gymnastics, MMA, Muay Thai, unbelievable record in anything that he does. Extremely strong, as we saw in his training video that he posted on our website. This is going to be a great fight. I think his advantage in this fight is how strong he is. I mean, I don't know if there's another middleweight in the world who can match him in physical strength but the technique and the skill of Nikki Holskin and really who can take the shots and who's going to apply their best strategy today will be the one who wins the fight. Well, Nikki Holskin will definitely have this partisan crowd here in Den Haag. Netherlands on his side, fighting out of Golden Glory, Breda, Camaro Jim, born in Helmand, Netherlands. Also a fighter and a steward, a, a student of the legendary Raman Decker we had here earlier on tonight. So. You know, very, very skilled. It comes from a school of, of great fighters. Alistair Overeem, Gokan Saki, you know, many, many fighters. Errol Zimmerman from that gym that are really, really good. And they've got a great stable and a great school, really. Nixie Holskin not even phased by that at all. My fans, are you ready? First to the white corner, weighing in at 72.5 kilos, standing 182 centimeters, age 27. From Helmand Holland, fighting out of Golden Glory, Brita Amaro Jim, with a strong record of 71 and 10, 33 wins by way of knockout. This man is the WFCA K1 Rules World Champion, introducing Nikki the Natural. Weighing 72.1 kilos, standing 175 centimeters, age 24, from San Francisco, California, and fighting for World Team USA with an unblemished, undefeated record of 25 and 0. 17 wins coming by way of knockout. This man is the ISKA light heavyweight North American champion and two-time WCK world champion at both 72 and 75 kilos and is the current WBC Muay Thai middleweight interim champion of the world. I give you Kai Hollenbeck. Your referee for tonight's fight, Vijay Sukipal. Want a good clean fight? Make sure Listen, my command all the time. Protect yourself at all the time. Tight club, good luck to both of you. Go back to your corner. Interesting and intense stare down between both fighters. 
I'm looking forward to this fight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kai Hollenbeck yet to taste defeat in 25 professional Muay Thai bouts. Nikki Holtzkin, one of the favorites here in the Muay Thai Premier League, especially in his native Netherlands, coming off a majority decision win against our rival Marco Piquet, who will be in our main event tonight against Ali Gunyar in round one of the MPL in Long Beach, California, while Hollenbeck we saw in Padova, Italy, defeat the United Kingdom's Jordan Watson, and immediately Holtzkin going downstairs with a low leg kick. Hollenbeck comes up with an outside leg kick, going for the teeth block nicely by Holtzkin. Ring being cut off right now by Holtzkin, switching stance. Hollenbeck moving around the ring. Kai Hollenbeck in the black shorts. Nikki Holtzkin in the white. Holtzkin with a height and reach advantage in this fight. And again, pinning Hollenbeck in the corner. Hollenbeck trying to walk out now. Lateral movement along the ropes. It's a circle away. One of the strengths that Hollenbeck has is his unorthodox movement. He likes to hit from many different angles. And you can see right now that Nikki Holtzkin is trying to find a tiny beautiful elbow there. Holtzkin started training kickboxing at the age of 10. Then had a short flirt with Karate. Nice overhand right. Misses with the left hook, however. Played football, what we know as soccer in North America. But then started training kickboxing again at the age of 17. Oh. Spinning back fist just on the shoulder there of Nikki Holtzkin. Kai Hollenbeck uh, looking good right now. There's a left hook from Holtzkin that scores. Hollenbeck a... Oh, and there he was looking for the flying knee and got caught with that left hook and the knockdown is scored in favor of Nikki the natural Holtzkin. You talk about timing. We said Nikki Holtzkin is a perfect technician when it comes to counterfighting and there you see that. back fist. Now Hollenbeck. Knowing that he's already down on the scorecards after the knockdown. Oh, a straight right from Holtzkin. Gets countered with a straight left from Hollenbeck. So, Holtzkin has uh, fired the first salvo in this fight. Spinning back elbow by Hollenbeck, blocked by the guard of Holtzkin. Great fight thus far here with a minute, eight seconds left in the opening round. Nikki Holtzkin, very, elbow. very patient and very, very accurate. I mean, it's like a, a black mamba, like a snake. Just one shot and he can get the job done and unbelievable we saw him do that with marco pique as well patient and looking for his timing uh, unbelievable knockdown there hollenbeck 24 years of age always been involved in athletics going back to a very young age when he started gymnastics now moving holtzkin and there's a spinning back fist that knocked him off his balance there momentarily but hollenbeck was a Wrestler at the age of 10, as you mentioned, also is trained in Muay Thai, uh, mixed martial arts, but it's in Muay Thai where he's had his biggest success yet to taste defeat. But right now, behind the eight ball in this round, after getting knocked down with 25 seconds left in the first frame. He was doing really, really well up until that point, and even now he's still giving Nikki Holskin a hard time. But the same issue that we saw in, in Italy was that he has his hands down and his chin up, and he's got to be careful of that. Nikki Holskin needs only one opening, and we saw that earlier in this and round. And the judges could very well see it still as uh, an even round, if that's the case, as yep. the end of the round is uh, in the books here. Uh, an entertaining first three minutes. Very entertaining first three minutes. Kai Hollenbach doing a really good job of, you know, just staying out of range of Nikki Holskin landing what he wanted to land. And up until, you know, that knockdown, he was having his way. I think he's giving Nikki Holskin, I mean, a lot of challenge with his uh, unorthodox movement. And then what makes it even more difficult is even though he's unorthodox, he hits hard. So it's hard to get your timing. And there's that beautiful knockdown. Stepped in, he was a little bit on a weird street there from that left hook, perfect time knockdown. And uh, Nikki Holskin, <laughs> the real deal here. Light cut on the head of Nikki Holskin from one of the elbows there of uh, Kai Hollenbeck. Cut man working on it right now. And here we go. We see that knocked on more time. Kai Hollenbeck looking to jump in. Boom. Beautiful timing. Unbelievable. Nikki Holskin. I mean, what eyes on this young man. Oh. Patient, accurate, and with power. That's a, a hard, a hard uh, puzzle to solve. Perfectly timed, countered, left hook as Hollenbeck was going for the flying knee attack. How did you score the opening round then with the knockdown, giving credit to uh, Holtzkin? I'm going to give that round, you know, it's a 10-8 it's a round, you know what I mean? Kai Hollenbeck did well, but that, that knockdown, and you know, see even now, right now, he's got his hands too low. you got to be careful when you're fighting fighters like this, is that 
One mistake, as we saw, can be checkmate. He's lucky that he was able to recover. Oh, and there he gets, he gets stopped there with a spinning back fist, momentarily dropping to a knee, but popping immediately back up. So and his hold. legs were a little bit wobbled, so I mean, yeah. he's lucky Holtz the referee didn't call him off. that. is very accurate. Two shots and two knockdowns, basically. Left head kick there by Holtzkin, finding his rhythm, spinning back elbow blocked by the guard of Holtzkin. Hollenbeck now trying to impose his will and skill on Holtzkin in the corner as they grapple. The referee warning him to keep those knees a little bit higher. Nice counter left there by Hollenbeck. Here's a combination left hook. Now he's beginning to find his rhythm here. Some teeps from Holtzkin, but that jab now getting through the guard. And there's an elbow from Hollenbeck, who's beginning to get momentum. Nice counter left from, or make that right from Holtzkin. But Hollenbeck against the ropes oh, coming forward. Elbow. Hi, Kai Hollenbeck still impressing me. I mean, he's landing more shots, he, landing some telling shots. Nikki Holskin seems like, you know, and this is what Kai Hollenbeck does to people. He makes their timing off, and uh, he's scoring. Midway through the round and the fight. Jab with Hollenbeck there coming forward, right hook. Holskin moves back momentarily, but you're right. Uh, Hollenbeck really aggressive in this round, spinning back elbow, moves back to the jab. Holtzkin just shelling up. He's got the high guard, but needs to get, you know, like you say, his percentage is high. Everything he throws scores or drops Hollenbeck, but he's not throwing a lot. He's got to throw more. He's definitely got to throw more. I mean, right now he's giving this round away. He won the first one, but that might not be enough to win the fight. If Kai Hollenbeck keeps this up and does the same thing in the third round, he may win this fight. Last minute of the round. And Hollenbeck continues to be aggressive, spinning back elbow, though he's got blood trickling from his left eye now as well. That elbow landed by Nicky Holtzkin. Oh, right hook. Oh, right just cross, the high kick. Beautiful. And, but the jab there for Hollenbeck, spinning back kick just misses. Hollenbeck's got a good jab, oh, doesn't follow up. Hook. And that left. And that's what Nicky Holskin actually has to do. He's got to cut off the ring and keep Kai Hollenbeck with his back to the ropes if he wants to be able to land with more shots. Oh. Oh. Holskin has cut Hollenbeck here in round two and now beginning to find some rhythm with 20 seconds left in the stanza. Kicks now from Holskin. As Hollenbeck against the ropes, doesn't go for it. Holskin very careful, make sure that he doesn't get hit with anything. Oh, oh beautiful. Left, that's nice jab there from Holskin. A hunback trying to finish the round. Sending a message to the judges. Interesting fight. Interesting fight. The matchup is, uh, is challenging, I can see, for both of them. Interesting fight. Different moments. Uh, one fight is taking over, and uh, it's going to be difficult to score. I mean, that first round goes to Nikki, but I don't know what the refs are going to see for that last round there. How do you see it right now? You know what? I would... Holtzkin won the first round because of the knockdown as we take a look at the replay. But I thought Hollenbeck did a good job coming back in the second round. But again, was dropped and was cut. So if you look at it from damage standpoint, even though Holtzkin's not throwing a lot, he is, he is damaging him. But that's spinning back in there. You saw even when Kai got back up, his legs were a little bit on the chicken dance thing. So really lucky the referee didn't count that. Very close round. Very close fight and entertaining tilt as we anticipated. But even here in the replay, look, Holtzkin scoring with the right misses with the kick. I think what Holtzkin needs to do if he wants to continue to win this fight, he's got to keep Kai Hollenbeck's back to the ropes and cut off the ring. As soon as they get into the center ring, Hollenbeck is doing really, really well with his footwork, hitting from unorthodox angles and confusing him, really. And there's that word again, discombobulated. You bet. <laughs> now that cut over the, just to the side, I guess, of the left eye of uh, Hollenbeck being tended to. Trying to close it, trying to stop it from bleeding, stop it from leaking into his eye, which of course would inhibit his vision. If he can't see, he can't fight. Final round. Let's hear it for these fighters. Third and final round. Nice counter left hook again by Nikki Holskin. 
Spinning back elbow just misses by Hollenbeck coming forward with the jab, pawing at it, trying to set something up, maybe follow up with a right or knee. There's a right cross from Holtzkin. Left body kick by the Dutch fighter. Has Hollenbeck in the corner. Push kick from Hollenbeck trying to create some distance. Elbow, horizontal elbow from the American. Left hook from Holtzkin. Inside the leg kick by Holtzkin. So Holtzkin now the only one throwing anything. Nice knee. That knee looked like it hurt Kai. Kai stepped back right out away from it. Hiding it well, but it looked like he got hurt by that knee. Southpaw stance. Hollenbeck back along the ropes again. Kick just misses. Hollenbeck needs to put something together here in the corner. This fight's still very much up for grabs. A minute 45 left in the fight. Nice chopping low leg kick. Another one to the lead leg of Hollenbeck. And oh, there's a body kick. kick. Oh. And a left hook. So Holtzkin beginning to pick apart Hollenbeck here with a final frame. Hollenbeck pawing away at the jab. Nothing behind it. Holtzkin now from the southpaw stance. Another kick to the lead leg of Hollenbeck. Now some neck grappling momentarily. Holtzkin finding a hole for that Oh, big kick. elbow. Counter left hook. This is an entertaining fight. I mean, it's hard to pick. He's trying to bounce off the rope, get a little extra momentum. Well, I think this is all Holtzkin in this round. Yep. Final 60 seconds of the fight. Now Hollenbeck, nice. Right uppercut from the American fighter. And now Ooh. countering that kick, coming forward. There's a flying knee, misses. Body kick, liver kick by Holtzkin. Right elbow by Holtzkin. Jab, right hand from Hollenbeck. Spinning back fist. And the crowd here in the Den Haag, Netherlands, chanting Nicky, Nicky, the Dutch fighter. Great footwork together, that corner. Oh, Upper cut and knee from Hollenbeck. Good stuff. Final 30 seconds. Holtzkin goes back to the southpaw stance, has his hands down though, however, body kick. Hollenbeck looking to grapple, wants to clinch. Oh, he's spinning, spinning back, back kick. he got hurt, got hurt him in the body, got hurt him in the body. Landed right on the body, Kai Hollenbeck, deep breathing. Oh, did he get him with a knee. And Hollenbeck is, is wobbling here. Oh, another flying attack by Holtzkin at the bell. Holtzkin drops Hollenbeck. I'm telling you, Nicky Holskin is an unbelievable fighter. He did it again in the last couple minutes of the fight. He scores a knockdown. It looks like he's winning this fight. Nicky Holskin, oh, man. And he could have very well just handed Kai Hollenbeck his first, first loss. Defeat. As we are going to the judges' scorecards. Wow. <laughs> Cut over his left eye as well. But, uh, yeah, I thought Holskin, uh, you know, dropping him twice. Nicky Holskin, the natural. Again, while we're waiting for the judges, we want to remind you to join us at the Ski Cafe tonight for the after party. Go and meet your favorite fighter. Kai in your we'll see that you cut there still the ski as well, cafe. but uh, man, Holtzkin dropping him. That spinning back kick, that spinning back kick caused all the damage here, and here we're going to see it again. I mean, Kai Hollenbach did well in this fight, but just a couple times he got clipped with stuff, and Nikki Holtzkin patient, landing, telling shots. He looked like he had Kai Hollenbach hurt on that inside leg. Looked like he had him hurt to the body with that spin kick, and that was really the difference. Nicky Holskin, uh, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with him. I mean, even in this fight where he looked like he was in a lot of trouble, he still found a way to, to get it done. Really impressive. There's that spinning kick, and the body shot, Kai Hollenbach hurt. And Nicky just going to him right there. Man, unbelievable. Unbelievable fight. Yep, thank you. So we await the judge's decision. Nikki Holtzkin already with the two points due to the victory over Marco PK in round one of the MPL in Long Beach, California. Holland Beck undefeated at 24-0, including a knockout win against, or excuse me, a decision win against the UK's Jordan Watson. But will Holtzkin be the first person to defeat Kai Hollenbeck? We're about to find way. out. It's looking that way. I mean, he got that clean, clean, clean knockdown in the first round. 
gave away a little bit in the second round, looking for his shots, and then basically at the end of that round just took it over. Spinning back kick hurt to the body, and we talked about this in previous events, that the body shots are the things that hurt the most in the ring. If you get hit hard in the head, you're sleeping. All right. With the official decision, here is ring announcer Chris Gregory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three amazing rounds of hard-hitting action, let's have a round of applause for these Warriors. Come on. And now to the card. Judge one scores them out, 30-25. Judge two sees it, 28-27. And judge three has it, 30-25. All in favor for the winner by unanimous decision, in the white corner, Nikki Holtz. So there you have it, Nikki Holtzkin. And Kai Hollenbeck, his first professional loss. An impressive victory for the natural who picks up two more points, has four points now to lead Group B in the men's welterweight division here in the Muay Thai Premier League. An impressive victory with two knockdowns. You know, <laughs> I don't really know what I can tell you about Nikki Holskin. I mean, I am so impressed with his ability to hit the target that he's looking for, pinpoint his shot, cause damage, big power, big accuracy, patient. All of these things that you normally don't find in a fighter who's only 27 years old. So. Well, and here's a guy who went the distance with Bukal Porpremic. Yeah, twice. In the uh, K1 World Max uh, 2007 uh, final elimination. So, yeah. obviously, a very bright future. And perhaps uh, a guy that, uh, well, not perhaps, a guy you definitely have to keep your eyes on here in the MPL. Nikki the Natural Holtzkin with a very impressive win. As we now throw it to Sonia Cooling standing by with the winner. Giving a kiss well, to his beautiful wife. a kiss wife. to the, the beautiful lady first. Nikki, congratulations. You had an impressive win just now. Being the first person to beat Kai Hollenbeck. Now, I heard he's really hard to fight because he comes okay. at you from all different directions. What was your strategy in there? My strategy is, uh, I can't say it on television, but it, is, it sucks. I have an almost broken uh, toe. My big toe was almost broken three weeks back. I couldn't prepare very good, but I could kick. I couldn't kick with, with, uh, with the right one. But uh, he's a very strong fighter. I know he win everything. But yeah, now he fight against the Dutch guy. And the Dutch guy are really good in Thai boxing. Oh yes, so may the Dutch flag fly because you have great support here today. Anything you'd like to say to all these fans that are here? Yeah, fans and everybody who support me, I love you very, very much. Thanks, Hoosh, Hoosh. Thank you, the first person to beat Kai Hollenbeck. Congratulations again, and this secures you into the next round.